You wouldn't believe how I got this information for this video. A loyal supporter hit me up that's actually an affiliate of Blackgate, which is a dangerous Chicago gang allegedly responsible for multiple murders. He actually confirmed the information that I have, so this is some of the most accurate and exclusive information that you'll find. Blackgate is a set of black disciples located around the area of 54th and Indiana. Historically a set known for being real BDs, as well as a real threat to other gangs in the area. This is why they call us Black Gate. Well, you see this Black Gate? Yeah. All of us stayed in these buildings and all these um, apartments. Oh, Black Gate, Black Gate, everybody know it. Maybe you ever been on 55th in Indiana, you know that the building on front of, we got a Black Gate right there, on front of the, front of the building, and the back of the building, we got a Black Gate. It's a Black Gate right there. Nah, we stole niggas out in front of that Black Gate. We, 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 we. Blackgate wasn't known for taking too many losses, but they was known for putting in a lot of work. This gang has more sets that they beef with than they are allied with. They are allied with Front Street slash Blood Gang, 600 LA Gang, plus THF46 slash GGRG, and Opla. But they beef with Vaughn World slash Bully Gang, Scrap Gang slash Mob, Geo Drive slash West Gang, BVC slash Jayski Gang, 051 Young Money, Drexide, plus ABM, and 4 Block. Blackgate was made in the 90s and is still active of today. They also had a close alliance with a gang called DOD, also named Checkout Gang, but as of today, they're allegedly not cool anymore because some fallout happened. And according to my source, someone actually got backdoored from switching from Blackgate to DOD. But we'll get into that later on in this video. But before we get into this video, make sure you all check out my website that's in the description, where I post exclusive videos and pictures that I can post on YouTube and Instagram. Plus, make sure you subscribe and like the video if you liked the video, and if you didn't like the video, just dislike. But this crazy war all started around 2005, where a well-loved Blackgate member will lose that their life in the early days. His name was David Smith, aka Killer Dave, and the alleged gang members that killed him was from the Met Boy set. This was one of the first sets that Blackgate would start beefing with. The Met Boy set is a set of gangster disciples located in the area around 51st and Cullerman. They are mostly older gang members with minimal presence of shorties, and they've been at war with Blackgate since allegedly the 90s. But three years later, allegedly, Blackgate would get get back for Killer Dave because they would take out a well-loved Met Boys member. It was on May 19th, 2008. This guy also did music too. John Wadley, aka Johnny B, from the Met Boys set, was standing in the street in the Grand Boulevard Chicago neighborhood when someone walked up on him and shot him multiple times. After his death, many people reacted online. So this guy was a well-loved member because even 051 Young Money had something to say about his murder. Less than a year later on April 28, 2009, a black gay member would lose their life in an unfortunate situation. It was around 9 p.m. when Wayne Ivory, aka Lil Wayne from the Black Gate set, was in the 1000 block of West Garfield Boulevard when allegedly some Black Stone members came up and robbed him and shot him. He was taken to Stroger's Hospital where he was pronounced dead 35 minutes later from his injuries. He wasn't killed by any op, but this was definitely a tragic loss for Blackgate. Even though this next person wasn't allegedly killed by Blackgate, but he was killed by close associates to Blackgate, which was THF46. It was July 16th, 2011. Lorenzo Baisley, aka Zoe from Met Boys, was sitting in a vehicle on the south side in the 5200 block of South Martin Luther King Drive, when allegedly THF Burbra and THF Bucky pulled alongside of him in a small gray sports utility vehicle and started to open fire. Lorenzo Baisley was 25 years of age and was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Then it was February 27th, 2012, where Blackgate will ramp up the war with another set. It was around 8 p.m. when George Howard, aka Geo, from the SKD set, 15 years of age, was standing in a building in the 300 block of East 53rd Street when allegedly some black gay members walked in, fired shots, killing George Howard, 15 years of age, and wounding three other people. Geo was one of the first members that died from SKD, and they renamed the set Geo Drive in his honor. This next member would be a big loss for Blackgate because he was actually one of the founders of Blackgate, July 10th, 2012. Philip Finley, aka Tizzle slash PT, which was one of the founders of Blackgate, was standing in a vacant lot 
at about 10.30 p.m. in the 10,000 block of South Prairie Avenue in the Roseland neighborhood when shots rang out and he was struck in the left knee. He was taken to the hospital where he died from his injuries. But on September 4th, 2013, a Met Boys member would lose their life. It was around 7.45 p.m. when Guinea Boyd, aka Guinea for Met Boys, was in the 5100 block of South Cullerman Avenue and was sitting on a porch in that block with another boy when a bicyclist rolled past and fired shots. He was struck multiple times in his lower body and was taken to the hospital in critical condition where he died at only the age of 15. About three years later on February 20th, 2016, Blackgate would allegedly catch a Geo Drive member. Brian Johnson, aka Wookie from Geo Drive, was in the 300 block of East 56th Street when he was shot multiple times just around 3 p.m. He allegedly drove himself to the hospital and died around 6 15 p.m. and he was only 18 years of age. A little bit over a year later Blackgate would allegedly catch another Met Boys member. It was April 23rd 2017. Santuan Mobley aka Juan Juan from Met Boys was getting out of a vehicle at about 7 p.m. in a 200 block of West 61st Street when someone shot him. He was struck in the hip and the head from an approaching white SUV. He would die at only the age of 22 years of age from his injuries. Two years would go past without anybody dying from this hood war, all up until a black gay member would die in an unusual way. It was April 26, 2019, at around 3.15 a.m. when Lonnell Irvin, aka Lil Red slash Schoon, was on Ida B. Wells and Clark Street. According to the police, the driver of the BMW got out to inspect the damages, and when he went back to get his cell phone, Lil Red approached with a gun, demanding his keys and push them into the vehicle but this is where it gets crazy because the 41 year old bmw driver retrieved his gun pulled the trigger and shot 22 year old lil red multiple times lil red was shot in the head where he was taken to stroger's hospital where he died but then about a year later on may 6 2020 the quarry and goodwin aka dex from mob was in the 5500 block of south indiana at about 11 27 a.m when a shot spotter alerter was alerted when officers arrived they found 23 year old the quarry and goodwin aka dex dead at the scene then on march 8th 2021 blackgate would allegedly catch a vaughn world member hello not man i'm looking for neil Man, cause his ass was just at the gas station on BD. His ass was just at the gas station on 99th and Halston, for I'm in the area, folks. And I'm looking for him. It was about 3.10 p.m. when our senior Stevenson, aka Senio, was in the 5800 block of South Wabash Avenue when someone opened fire, striking him in the chest and the thigh. He was taken to University of Chicago Medical Center where he died at only the age of 31. Then they would allegedly catch a Geo Drive member. On April 12, 2021, Caron Reeves, aka Lil Ron from Geo Drive, was in the 200 block of East 51st Street at about 6.45 p.m. when someone walked up on him behind our apartment building and shot him in the chest. He was also taken to University of Chicago Medical Center where he died from his injuries at only the age of 19. This would be one of the last people that would die in this war that's currently going on today. It would be September 12, 2021, where Elijah Kane, aka TP from Blackgate, was allegedly killed over a dispute over a gun. This was also allegedly a backdoor situation from him flipping the Blackgate to DOD in 2019. But around 12.30 p.m., on September 12, 2021, he was in the 300 block of East 68th Street when he was shot multiple times and officers arrived and found him unresponsive. He was taken to the hospital of University of Chicago Medical Center where he died from his injuries. As you can see, Blackgate was a gang that really didn't take too many losses. They more of a gang that stay out the way but put in work. But that'd be about it for this video. Make sure you like or dislike, comment, and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments what y'all want to see next. And as always, stay blessed, stay well. Yeah, yeah, I'm out.